what is up you guys welcome back to my channel so you can already tell by this video what it's gonna be about today so if you want to stay tuned and get in my business and figure out what happened and how i got a messed up tattoo by my ex keep watching but before you think you're gonna like fast forward through this video just to get to my business you gotta subscribe to my channel so you can stay on top of all the videos that i post make sure you click that bell down there as well so you can also get notified when i post the video because if you didn't want to watch me like you wouldn't be watching this video so it's like you might as well just like subscribe you feel me like all right so keep watching this video if you want to know how my ex-boyfriend completely messed up my chest tattoo so since this video is gonna be a little personal i'm chilling in the bed today i'm not at my makeup table so i got me a bottle of prosecco this is not my favorite one but this we just gonna pop us a little you know bottle before we get into the tea because i already know that's why y'all here so i know y'all want to know but i gotta get comfortable you know and i also got me my um and i got me a pack of backwoods yes i like backwoods yeah this video is gonna be a little personal it's funny it's really not like that bad obviously you could tell i got it fixed so i mean that was the end result of that but so i've noticed that i um i get more views when people want to be in my business i don't know if like it just happens on the day that i post it just so happens people want to be in my business i do get a lot more views when i post like personal stuff like when i did um the romley uh haul so i was like okay and then when i posted um when i po oh this is really cold hold on posted um my makeup tutorial the last one i was reviewing um makeup revolutions foundation so maybe people just what maybe people aren't interested in makeup foundation i mean and makeup revolution so maybe it was just the brand that i used or i don't know i'm gonna see i'm still trying to learn like i've been on youtube for a long time but i'm still trying to like learn like what i want to mostly do you know this is gonna pop and it's gonna scare the shit out of me it's like i know it sounds crazy but i hate popping bottles it's All right, I distracted myself so I didn't get scared. Get a little scary. Ooh. Oh, shit. So what had happened was, God, this is how the story happened. From my perspective, this is how I remember it. I was there, so I, I kind of remember. Um, basically, what happened? I had a let me just go back from the beginning because i don't want to be like oh i had a boyfriend like no he didn't start off as my boyfriend one of my friends i seen her post on instagram probably like this had to be like 20 2012 2013 i must say i want to say this happened 2013 happened um i was on instagram back then so i had an instagram and i think it was my birthday or something coming up and i wanted to get a tattoo and like anybody who knows me can vouch like whenever i say i'm gonna do something like i'm gonna do it and i'm not gonna stop until like it gets done right one day um i see my friend on instagram she tagged this tattoo artist and i was like damn like you know like his work is okay like he ain't all that but i mean like his prices and then like what you know how you can go to certain artists and get a certain type of like tattoo like okay i'm gonna go to him for the small tattoos i'm gonna go to him for the big tattoos you know i've seen her tag him so i was like damn like all right i think i want to go to him like i, I think i want to get a tattoo done and plus um i was underage so i couldn't go to like a tattoo shop obviously and get a tattoo but he was mobile so he'll pull up on you and do the tattoo or whatever so gave him my address and literally my mom is like 
leaving like leaving the house he's like i'm on the way and she's like about to leave the house so before she left i was like mom i'm finna get a tattoo today and she was like no the, you not like no you not and then i was like yeah like he on the way like i'm finna get tatted so yeah he pulled up did the tattoo it took like almost two hours it was my first tattoo my first tattoo y'all right but this is um let me see if i can bring it down this is the tattoo he did this is my first tattoo the the um the bird right here it's like a bird and um like in a flower he was a tattoo artist but he was like still new so it was like he was only charging you like probably like 25 dollars for that like like he was good to a certain extent like you knew and you knew what not to do you know so that's kind of how it was so i mean that's my first tattoo i think he was like 23. Ooh, that sounds terrible i got another tattoo done by him but in between the time like i got my first and second tattoo i was talking to him like we would talk on instagram um we would like talk on the phone we would like text stuff like that but he wasn't really like pulling up on me i was just like 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 i'll hit you up when i need a tattoo my second tattoo that i got that he did right he's done mostly all my tattoos um so yeah <laughs> but yeah this is this second tattoo he did oh i used to be in the hood okay i know a lot of hood people in atlanta that do cheap ass tattoos but they but they okay they right after he finished this tattoo my arm tattoo he was like dang like you can take pain like you like you um you can take tattoo pain so i was like yeah like it really don't hurt to me so he was like nah like yeah 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 yeah, yeah whatever i don't really know like how he asked me but he was just like like let me tat you up some more like let me give you like, like let me tat you like I want to tat you up like you got pretty skin like he used to always tell me i'm pretty like i don't know like he used to always just be like you so pretty like like you're gonna like when you get like 25 you're gonna be bad like you're gonna be like a heartbreaker so i was like man this this man just talking like okay like whatever first time so i think i was a sophomore going into my um my junior year of high school so i was like i can't be like out here with all these tattoos like boy like i can't do that so whatever i i end up doing it like he ended up convincing me that i needed tattoos right um, time went on and we were talking and he ended up wanting to be my man but i'm like damn like i'm kind of young like i'm like 16 at the time 17 whatever uh like I, I guess like if you like really want to be with me like i guess like i'm i ain't really i ain't really stunting it because i'm still in school so i'm still chopping up with dudes in school or like you know it's like it ain't it wasn't really that important to me yeah so ended up like being together in a way i guess and imagine just um being like 16 17 and going to high school and you got a big ass thigh tat on your thigh like i had to wear shorts and like at that school i was going to south but um whew, i'm out of breath y'all i don't know why i'm talking too fast but um he did that tattoo and i went to school with a big ass thigh tat and i was new like nobody knew me i was hella quiet and i came to school and everybody was like This is it right here, right there, right there, bam. So this is how the tattoo looks now. And shout out to Wayne Tattoos for hooking this shit up because you did that. And you know what? I'm about to go put on a different shirt just so you guys can see it, okay? Hold on, I'll be right back. I feel like you can see the tattoo a little bit better with this sports bra on. But okay, back to the story. So yeah, um, okay, so we was, clearly dating talking in a relationship whatever it was um i still have my teens going on so i think when i went to sleep around him one time i think what happened because i still don't know to this day what happened but <sighs> 
I think one time I was asleep by him and he probably went through my phone and probably like see me talking to somebody or somebody in my DMs like flirting with me. Cause honestly, I don't remember at that time really talking to like hella people. I wasn't talking to hella people. So I'm like, he probably went through my DMs and maybe he felt some type of way and really didn't know how to speak on it. He probably was just like, I ain't fucking with her. Like, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't fucking with her. Cause at this point, like, we was really chilling. Like, I can tell he really liked me because it's like, he brought me around everybody, you know? Like, I'm young as fuck, okay? And like, people don't bring you around people like that. And, you know, just the way like he would talk to me. So it was one day he was like, I know you've been talking about, like I, I kept saying like, I wanted some butterfly tattoos. So I was like, yeah, like I want you to do that for me. And then he was like, oh, like, you want me to do a tattoo? I'm like, baby, did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed today? Like, any other time you would tap me up and it's not a problem. But, like, is it because I'm asking? Like, you want me to pay? Like, I'll pay you. Like, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna just have you, like, feel like I'm your girl. I don't even need to be paying you, so what's your problem so he was like i don't have a problem i'm just not feeling it or something something he said like hours he's like you ready i'm like yeah he's sitting there drawing it out and he had to draw it out like four different times like maybe four or five different times so i'm like so he was like what color do you want the butterfly i'm like you think i care like i don't care blue purple orange it don't really matter like just do do butterflies on the tattoo and he was just talking to me he was like i don't feel like you loyal to me you feel like i'm not loyal to you i should have knew then i should have knew then what i knew now because if somebody says something like that why they doing something like that on me permanent i would have been like you know what let's just stop so he was just like, I don't feel like you lost to me. And I'm just, just like, why you feel like that? Like, what did I do to you? You know, like trying to get the tea. And he was not giving me the tea. Y'all, it's 2019 and I still don't have the tea. He was just like, I don't feel like you loyal to me. Like, I feel like you be talking to other people and I, I just don't trust you no more. Being young, I'm just like, what did I do? What did I do? Why are you tripping? Like, you're doing my tattoo and it hurts. And you're trying to talk to me while you're doing a chest tattoo, baby. <sighs> Y'all, I really don't know what I was thinking. Like, me telling this story out loud and, like, making this video, I'm just like, what a dummy. Like, why was I sitting there arguing with somebody who's doing a chest tattoo on me that hurt so bad? And I so then when he was done, he was like, he was like, I ain't gonna put no color on it. Like, you can have somebody else finish it to look at the tattoo because I was so busy cussing his ass out. I go into the bathroom, y'all, and I look at my chest, and I can't understand if he just outlined it and wanted me to go to somebody else to finish it, but it's like he outlined it and started shading and added no color i don't know if i have a picture of the tattoo fully i might be able to find a picture of this it was so bad it was um it was really really bad like because when i was in the bathroom and i looked at it and i'm like boy what the is this like what is this it's not even done it's like it's ugly like the lines are crooked like the butterfly is not right like i look stupid i look stupid i look so dumb like the tattoo looked horrible like i showed my mom show my grandma my brothers everybody's just like also like it's some shit in a movie like i would never have expected to like have a freaking boyfriend mess up my tattoo it was really funny though it was it was funny i'm gonna post pictures if i find it like i said i might not be able to find where the entire tattoo is like that but i know i have a picture of uh the tattoo how it was after i got it done 
But it's like, if you look, let me turn up my brightness. But he shaded all of this in. My uh, my ex, he shaded all this in. Wayne, like Wayne didn't do any of this. All he did was like try to fix it. But I don't think I'm going to, um, I, it's a lesson learned. Very, very good lesson here. I'm done playing with guys and tattoos and and their dreams and what they want to do and being their guinea pigs. So, um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this story, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this on me giving you guys story times, I got some really crazy stories. So just let me know if you guys want to see another story time video. Let me know. Engage with me, guys. Let me know what you want to see so I know I'm posting the right content, okay? So I will see you guys in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye. I like I ain't all this. Get in money, nigga, that my man. Oh, okay.